Hey, it's Mike Thomas here. Um, let me ask you a question. How's your diary looking for the next couple of months? Is, is it full of clients that you know, like deep down, are going to spend uh, spend a lot of money, or do you get the feeling that there's a few no-shows in there? Uh, do you get the feeling that there's a few people that might not turn up? Uh, well, just look. Don't panic. I'm just about to show you how to fill your diary for at least a month with high-paying clients who are guaranteed to turn up. Um, so what I'm about to show you, it's not magic. It's just very good marketing, and if you do it correctly, it could land you a huge payday. Um, so over the last sort of 12 weeks or so, I've worked with a plethora of different photography studios and have implemented this particular campaign with all of them. Um, I want to share the results from just one of those companies with you, uh, and then I'm going to walk you through like, exactly what we did, uh, so in theory that you can go and do it too. Um, before we start, there's a couple of things that you need to have uh, sort of in order to make this campaign a raven success. So firstly, uh, you're going to need to have an established business um, with preferably like a big list of, of over 500 past clients. Um, uh, secondly, you'll need to have some sort of relationship with those past customers as well. Um, this bit's really quite important. I'd say that the better your relationship um, with your, your list of past customers, the better this campaign is going to work for you. Um, and when I say relationship, what I really mean is the position of your business in its marketplace. Uh, so, you know, are you well positioned with your prospects and customers? Do, do you talk to them much? Is there like a lot of activity on your social media pages? You know, that, that sort of thing, engagement. So the, the campaign I ran with my particular client uh, went a little like this. So we had 1,400 people on this, uh, on this past uh, customer list that he uh, sort of regularly engaged with. Uh, and out of that, we managed to get 36 bookings from high paying clients. Um, his average spend is three hundred and sixty five pounds so you know if we work on that ratio that equated to thirteen thirteen grand so that's not a, a bad month at the office um, so I, I want to pull away really the curtain on the sort of mystery of this campaign I want to tell you what it is um, and it's called a launch so you basically tell people that something really good is going to happen on a particular date then on that date you reveal the really good thing. Uh, and then you only make it available for a certain time or, or maybe a certain amount of customers and then you run intense marketing before the deadline to create some urgency um, so like the launch is all about creating a reason to buy now creating urgency so a lot of your prospects um, you might find that they want to buy from you but they know that you're going to be there forever um, and there's no urgency to buy from you so they sort of never get round to it um, and this campaign is essentially making your prospects get round to it you know um, and, and, and your past customers it's about creating urgency uh, and a lot of sales quickly so he, here's a brief rundown of the campaign um, and then I'm gonna go into more detail and sort of break these bits down for you so number one um, you really want to start with a list of past customers um, and then we sort of decide on an offer that will be strong enough to entice those guys back into the studio. Um, I mean, past customers are are quite a, a an easy um, an easy target for for your marketing, just because you don't have to get over as many barriers as, as you do um, when you're trying to convert new prospects, because a lot of them have already met you. They've already been maybe into the studio. Um, they've already got in front of the camera, um, so they've they've already passed those barriers, uh, so that they know what to expect. Uh, so number two, you decide on a reason why we're going to do this launch. I mean, it's it's really important that you have a reason um, because it gives you like a bit more gravitas with your offer. Now it could be uh, an Easter present or a business birthday, for example. Um, so, so, so something like that. So a reason is important. Number three, you decide on three dates. So what one uh, the, the first date is when we start the pre-launch, okay? So that's date number one, and then we need another date for when we start the actual launch, and then we need a third date for when the launch ends. Um, so that they're, they're typically seven days apart. So the campaign runs over two weeks, fourteen days. Um, number four, you, you write a load of emails that get people excited for the launch. Now I call these pre-launch emails, uh, and these are meant to build suspense. Uh, and get people prepped for the great offer that's to come. They're, they're, they're building excitement, really. Number five, you write a set of what I would call launch emails. So these are different to the pre-launch emails, and these are all about driving people to the sales page and making them buy the incredible offer that we, we've just made available. 
Number six, you build a page that tells them all about the glorious offer and you set up a payment page as well um, where your prospects can buy that offer on the internet there and then uh, when they're excited about it. Now let's just break this all down a bit. Let's go into a little bit more detail um, because I want to make this really useful for you so that you can go and like replicate this yourself. Um, so let's start with the offer. Now the better you make your offer, the more people will buy it. Okay, so that is like that's a really important line here. That this is where this whole campaign could fail. So I'll say it again: the better you make your offer, the more people will buy it. If you put out a crap offer, um, you'll have a crap campaign. So here's one that I've used that, that works really well. So 75% off the price of a shoot with a 75 pound voucher on wall art. Okay, so not digital images, just wall art and a free eight by six print. Um, so that works really well because it's a good offer. I've stacked up lots of value and it's really important that you stack up the value too uh, in this offer or people you know, won't wanna buy it. Use 10% off at your peril because it just won't work. Um, you take my word for it, I've tried it. So another option here is to use what I call a value add. Uh, so this means you make a certain frame or a product available for free if they buy within the launch, okay, but you don't discount the price. That won't work quite as well, um, but it's, it's still a, a different way of doing it. Um, so now let's talk about creating a reason for this launch. My favorite one um, is probably a business birthday, so that that works really well because it's not going to come round, you know, again for at least 12 months. And if it's a big birthday, you know, like a t 10 or 20 years, um, then that, that's even better. So, uh, for other examples, you could use Easter, um, you could use a Christmas offer, Halloween, or something like that. Um, something quite relevant now would be summer holidays, um, but it could be a more personal reason um, that you know you, you can uh, sort of use your imagination. And, uh, and come up with yourself. So the next bit I want to talk about is all about the emails, okay, and writing the pre-launch emails. Now, these need to be very carefully worded. You need to put a lot of thought and time into these, uh, and I'd suggest you want to be sending like five emails over seven days, okay? Uh, so you need to be talking about what's to come. So I want to give you a little example so you've got somewhere to start. So, hi, Joe. I've got some really exciting news for you. Um, in uh, on Tuesday, it's our business birthday and I'm going to be giving you a personal gift. Uh, it means a lot to us that you're one of our beloved customers and I want to say thanks. So this is my way of paying it back to you. Uh, so keep an eye on your inbox on Tuesday for the email that reveals all. So you need to send in emails in like a similar vein to, to what, what I've just read out to you there. So. Um, and counting down to the date where you make the offer of available, you know that that's a good thing to do as well. So get these people ready for that day where you're going to put the offer in front of them, um, and that's going to get people, you know, really excited about what what's to come, uh, and it will be a build some in intrigue. Uh, you, you'll most probably have people emailing you to ask what it is, but uh, you know, just don't give the game away just yet, just in case they go and tell everyone else. You, you know what I mean? Um, so this bit is really important at no point tell them that you're going to make them a really good offer okay no one likes to be sold to and they won't get excited if you tell them this now okay so in the pre-launch phase don't tell them that you're gonna give them a really good offer okay um, because people won't be interested in that and they won't uh, tune in to the rest of your campaign um, so I want to talk about what you should put on the page that you send them to okay so this is like the sales page now a good headline is key uh, and the, the copy is also very important. So try to lead the reader to a special sort of one-off bit of event. So so here's an example um, of some copy that you can put on the sales page. So let's say, hi there, it's Bob here from Bob's Photography. Uh, we thought as it's our birthday that we're going to do something extra special. Um, previous birthdays have come and gone without a fuss, but this year is going to be different because we want to reward you. We want to we want you to know how much we appreciate you being a customer of ours. Um, you know, it means so much to us more than you'll ever know, and for that we thank you and reward you with the best offer we've ever made here at Bob's Photography. Are you ready? So before 5 p.m. next Tuesday, which is the deadline, obviously, you can claim. 75% off a family photography experience. Uh, you can claim a free eight by six print of your favorite shot and also you get a 75 pounds voucher 
towards any wall portrait. Um, so it's important that you put lots of your wonderful sort of photography as well on the page as people will want to see lots of examples uh, of your work. Um, and you'll also need a button on that page to take them through to an online order form where they can actually buy, you know, they can invest um, and to put their deposit down for the shoot. So that's that's really important that they can buy sort of there and then. Um, you know, getting them to opt in is okay, but what you do then is you create another job of converting those opt-ins into actual customers, okay? And that's harder than, than it sounds. Um, so uh, trust me, because I've done that before, you'll get loads of opt-ins and then you have to you create a big job for yourself because you have to go through and convert all those opt-ins, people that are slightly interested into customers. Um, you know, it's not it's not the worst way you could do it, but the best way is to have an online order form where they can pay there and then. Um, now, you, you need to set up remarketing code on this page as well. So uh, you need to head into Facebook, uh, you need to pull out your pixel code, then head back into the new sales page you just set up and plunk it between the head tags on your website code. Uh, if you're having trouble, just get your website person to, you know, to, just to take care of it for you. They'll know what you're talking about if, if you tell them um, what I've just told you. Okay, so put that pixel code between your head tags on, on that sales page. So the next part of all this is to upload all of your data into Facebook so that you can run some ads to it, further promoting the offer. Okay, so um, using multiple streams of media is also vital uh, as people see more of your message, you know, making them likely to buy. Um, you can use text as well. So the next thing I'm uh, you know, going to talk about is my favorite thing for converting leads. But I reckon it's probably your least favorite, okay? Um, and that's the same for a lot of other UK photographers. Uh, and it's called the telephone, great invention. Uh, it came out in 1876, it's still going strong. Um, I can't cold call people, cry lots of poor photographers over the land. Um, the fact is that photographers that are prepared to pick up the phone and speak to people are the ones that will make a lot more money than the ones that don't, okay? Uh, all the successful um, photography studios that I've worked with have a salesperson, okay? They have someone in their business that can pick up the phone and is good at talking to people. Um, so, if you don't fancy that, here's how to avoid cold calling anyone but still sort of get similar results. So if you have a half decent CRM system, um, the thing that's you know that that thing that sort of sends um, emails for you automatically, um, it will tell you who has clicked the link in your email and viewed your sales page. Okay, so it will show you who has seen the offer, who has seen the sales page. Um, now you've got a, a list of hot prospects. Okay, um, so those people that have seen the sales page are hot prospects. Um, now give those people a call. I see what happens. Um, you know, they might buy. Just be friendly on the phone. Hey, did you see the offer? Uh, what did you think about it? Um, you know, you've got until the deadline to buy, so don't forget. Um, just remember that uh, these are past customers as well. So uh, these are people that you already know. Okay, so don't be too scared. I mean, uh, that you've done business with them before, that um, and they're not going to be pissed off that you called. So. Cool. Now let's talk about how many emails you should send um, sort of once you're in your launch. A lot. Uh, you need to send at least six emails over like a seven day period. So any less than you're leaving money on the table. Uh, you need to remember that the average person gets a lot of emails every day. Okay. So if you want them to read yours, you've got to use good subject lines and you've got to send a good quantity. Right? You've got to send lots of them. Um, so another way you can supercharge this campaign also is by counting down in your emails to the deadline. Okay, so um, from four days out, you should be counting down to the deadline so that everyone knows about it. Okay, so on the fourth day, say so there's four days left. On the third day, say hey, there's three days left. Um, and then on the last day, obviously you're saying hey, it's deadline today at 5 p.m. Make sure you get um, your order in. Cool. So that really is how you execute a launch in your photography business, um, and it does work like wildfire if you get it right. Okay, so attention to detail is key, um, and it could land you a month's worth of customers in just a couple of days. Um, I've done that for companies before. Now that's all very sort of well telling me uh, uh, to you know to sorry telling you that this sort of proven route to the cash, um, but it is it is. Sort of a lot harder to actually implement it if you don't know exactly what you're doing or how, if you haven't done it before. So, you know, that said, would you like me to do it for you? Um, I'll set up a, a, a like write everything for you. I'll write the emails. I'll write the sales page. Um, I'll host it online. 
Uh, I'll set up a payment page that works and takes money as well. Um, so I'll also set up a remarketing pixel on the page so we can run remarketing to the people who hit the, who hit the sales page. Um, then I'll go and help you find an offer that will resonate with your customers. Um, and I'll help you find a reason to do your launch as well. Okay, it's important that it has a reason. Um, I'll also set up the Facebook ads for you. Um, and I'll do absolutely everything. I'll link it all together so it's a seamless process and it works and the customers just come through to you. Um, so I've completed this campaign for, for numerous photographers up and down the UK have, who have all had great results and I can do the same for you too. Um, now usually I've built these launches for a cost of £1,499 but if you buy before the deadline I'll happily build this whole thing for you for just £999. That's a whole £500 off if you take action before the deadline. Okay, So that's up to you. Um, but there, there might be an easier route into this for you, um, and that would be by becoming one of a small handful of my private clients. Now, I, I work on a one-to-one, -one, done-with-you basis with a small amount of UK studio photographers. Um, it's a six-month program in which I carry out six different campaigns for their businesses, uh, and at that end, uh, and, and at the end, I, I hand over all of the campaigns um, so you know they're free to run sort of run those campaigns whenever they like they're like assets to the business um, I implement the launch that we've just spoken about I also complete my supercharged profitable uh, competition funnel that I call the studio profit system you might have watched the video on that already um, we then look at a bomb proof referral system that brings in the best type of customers you know recommendations um, after that, we, we look at how you can make more profit from each customer with my Sales Maximizer campaign. Um, this increases your client's spend by getting them to purchase more photos over time. Um, we also run a bang on timely offer campaign where we tie in with annual events like Valentine's Day, you know, Halloween, Christmas and Mother's Day. Um, and then I'll also implement Facebook remarketing for, for your business. Okay, so, so that brings customers back to you even when they haven't left any details on your website whatsoever. Okay, so part of that campaign is also implementing timely pop-ups, um, and they hit your prospects with great offers. Just uh, you know, as they're about to exit your site. Okay, so the pop-ups go on your website. Um, you'll also get my special 52-week email, um, and that sort of creates a lasting relationship, really, with your your prospects and your customers, um, and it makes them a lot more susceptible to offers. Okay, because it increases relationships. Um, my Studio Profits Private Clients program is, is 4 dollars per month, um, and that's an investment over six months, and it can really take your studio from where it is now to where you want it to be, you know, customers coming in the door um, steadily and even flow. Um, now, you, you can't buy this online, okay, so Private Clients is an application-only program. Um, it does come with a special guarantee, which goes a little like this. Um, so I'll make sure that I work with no other studios within a 10 mile radius of your premises um, and I'll double your investment every single mo single month or I'll keep working until I do. So it's a pretty good uh, guarantee, yeah? Um, okay, so if you're interested in either investing in the Studio Profits launch formula that I've just laid out in front of you, then you can just click the button below. You can get that right now. If you're interested in becoming a private client, you need to send me an email on mike at studioprofits.co.uk with your phone number and your name. And then we can uh, spend half an hour on the phone. And we can talk about the possibility uh, of perhaps working together. Um, cool. So that's me done. I hope you enjoyed that. Took some value from it. Obviously, the whole video is useless um, if you don't implement anything. Uh, and that's why I've, I've really offered to do it for you. Okay. So remember, if you're interested in private clients, drop me an email at mike at studioprofits.co.uk. Or um, if you want the whole launch formula done for you, just click the big button below. Uh, that will take you through to the order form uh, where you can invest there. Um, then we'll have a call. Uh, and talk about what I'm going to implement for you. Lovely. Catch you soon. Cheers. Bye.